What is up today, guys? It's Mystic Dreamcatcher, and today we have Total Drama Thanos Snap with All Stars. Y'all know how the fuck it be. This is basically my way, in my opinion, as this, I was the director. You know, once again, just keep in mind, it's only my opinion. If you guys like this, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. That'd be a huge ass help to the channel, and I appreciate all of you. Alright, go ahead and pick one person on each team you believe may win. Heroes versus Villains. Dive off the cliff to find a key in the lake and use a stroller to cure your teammate to the spot and use the key found to open. Now, this is my All-Stars, so I'm hoping this All-Stars is going to be fire and great. So let me start off with the team I believe would win this. I honestly think it would be Vendetta Vultures, just cause they have some really like strong, smart, and key players. I mean, there's a there's one sore thumb here, but you know he's I. Now I'm gonna say Scott did great in this challenge, which obviously lets the others know not to vote for him cause they do want to win. Lashana and Gwen are probably getting swindled by Scott, or you know they're agreeing with him to an extent. And basically, Cody, goodbye. I know a couple of you might be upset that he's the first out, but I just think that's how it'd be going. That'd be a good fit. Evil Dread. Dig up 3D puzzle pieces at the beach to assemble an international landmark. Fuck it. You know what? Back-to-back -back wins Vendetta Vultures. Now here, I think Scott may, like, fuck it up a little bit, but blame it on someone else. And who is he blaming it on, you might ask? He's blaming it on Harold which makes him the second out. Saving Private Leech Ball. Collect unusual paintball weaponry in the forest to pick off members of the opposite team. All right, now for something when it comes to shooting, I feel like Scott, Lashana, Gwen, and Kitty would all have this, where Vendetta Vultures, I think Brick, Emma, Stephanie, maybe. You know, I, I just feel like here, Hopeful Hamsters would clap cheeks. Now the first one voted off of this team, who I feel like didn't really contribute much to this challenge, is my boy Zeke. You know how it be. Zeke, you are great. You got your season. Third out in this one is not bad considering what happens in the other universe. Food Fright. Eat a giant stack of pancakes and compete an obstacle course without vomiting. Now I'm gonna say Hopeful Hamsters have it again because DJ has his spice. Lashana is good at that kind of thing. Scott eats mud, and I'm pretty sure Kitty could suck it the fuck up. Vendetta Vultures, you lose. Who do I believe couldn't stomach the shit? I believe that is Zoe. I feel like in a situation like this, I don't know if there's any clips of her eating something fucking disgusting, but I don't think there is. Not that I remember anyway, so I'm gonna say that she would probably not like something disgusting, and she would be the reason for losing that challenge. No one egg specs the Spanish opposition. Find six eggs from the mutated creatures in the fun zone of Boney Island. All right, finding eggs and you know, all that good shit. I feel like Hopeful Hamsters got it again. And a solid 10th place, congratulations, Stephanie. I wanna say it could have been almost Heather, but I feel like Heather would use like her silvered words to uh, get Stephanie out. Sucker's Punch. This is the last challenge before the merge. Fight in a boxing match with your worst fear. Alright, so I know this bitch ain't doing it. Gwen probably ain't doing it. Kitty isn't doing it, probably. Like, sorry for insulting y'all's waifu. Noah probably not doing it. Brick probably not doing it. I'm gonna say someone has to sit out and it's Lashana. So it's a tie. And then they're told the first one to do it wins for their team. Brick does it. Congratulations, you four have made it to the merge. Which means the last person voted off before the merge. You know what? I'm gonna say it's Gwen. I feel like she got lots of character development here, especially being by herself with no Courtney and no Duncan. I want to say that's good character development right there, considering her other seasons in this universe as well. Which means welcome the final eight. You regret to be kidding me. Race one lap around the island in a boat. The first immunity winner obviously has to be Scott, which means eighth place, congratulations. Noah, I just feel like with Noah, Emma, and Kitty, their bond would be way too strong, and I feel like Noah would probably get on people's nerve more than these two. I'm sorry, Noah. Zeke and ye shall find. Basically, Zeke comes back not in the game, but just as a little cameo. 
Find and rescue Chris from certain doom. I think Emma probably got that. Now Scott seeing Emma win, he's probably gonna go to Heather saying that Emma's, you know, gonna be too good and she's gonna take Kitty to the finals, all that blah 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 bullshit. Heather kinda let Lashana know who agrees. And so these three vote Kitty, these two vote Scott, and these two vote Heather. Which means Baba Booey, bitch. The obstacle course. Race through a deadly obstacle course. Alright, pretty simple. It is pretty deadly. The race winner, I'm gonna go ahead and say would be... Lashana, she definitely needs some plot in this. Definitely a little bit of action. She deserves an invincibility win. Which means goodbye, Scott. Sunday, muddy Sunday. Race to make a Sunday for two starving interns by getting the ingredients around the island, then later change to having to eat their own Sunday to win invincibility. Now, the one I feel like couldn't eat their own Sunday is unfortunately probably Heather, which sucks a little, but I think that's our last winner gone. The bold and the beautiful. You already know that Lashana win in this one, but who's winning with her? Search for various items throughout the island and bring them back to Chris. And the one I believe would be able to do that is DJ, which means you two are the final two, and I think those two as final would be almost fucking perfect. Matter of fact, it might be perfect. I wish this was a thing. I would pay top dollar to see that. The final reckoning. Cross the moats of doom, then storm the castle, get past the Mad King, and extract the sword from the stone. And the person I believe would be most likely canon winner in this. Congratulations. Lashana, yes sir, yes sir. I think her winning a season like this with this kind of performance would be fucking amazing for Lashana. And I really like the fact that she would win something like this. And imagine, look, in an alt winning DJ, that's also just as fucking good. That'd be so happy. You know, him hugging his mama and everything. It would all be so good. Alright, well if you guys like this, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. To those who watch my videos, you guys are amazing and I wish you nothing but the best. Have a good day.